NBC5's medical expert, Dr. Robin Miller, joins us now for this week's Focus on Health. Dr. Miller, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Let's get to our very first question. All right, here's the first one. Is there any way to know the general mood of people around the world? Yes. From October 10th through the 16th, a study is being conducted looking at just that. It's called How is the World Feeling? It will be the largest democratic mental health survey in the world. The goal is to collect over 70 million emotions. All the data will be out in the open and you can participate. You just need to download the app, which is called How is the World Feeling? It will be able to tell specifics of when certain people of gender and age get anxious and other emotions as well. Now, do people need to worry about their personal information being shared? No, it will not be. Okay, it's just looking at the emotions and then we'll compile them. That's right. You can be like all the other people in the world and tell them what, how you're feeling. It's all pretty right. cool. We all got a lot of feelings, That's too. That's right. Oh, yes. Our second question, which we alluded to in the tease, do dancers and musicians have different brain structures than those who are not musicians or dancers? Yes. But there's a difference between the brains of dancers and musicians as well. In a recent study, researchers found the fibers of the brain that were affected were those that link sensory and motor regions that flow across the left and right hemispheres of the brain. In dancers, these connections were broader. In musicians, they were stronger but less plentiful. So dancers who use their whole body have more connections across the two sides of the brain, and musicians who focus on the part of the body, such as their mouths for blowing a horn or fingers for playing the violin, have stronger ones. All right, so why is this finding so important? Because it may help us to rewire wire people's brains like when they have Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. And we know that dance actually bypasses the damaged part of the brain. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. The other interesting thing is that music, when it's a steady beat for Parkinson's patients, mm -hmm. they can actually walk. That's what I was, you know, thinking about when you were talking about, you know, artists, musicians, yes. dancers, you know, how they have a different circuitry and, and people who can listen to music, mm -hmm. appreciate it or something like that may also get some benefit out of it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Um, can mediation help with post or meditation, I should say. Well, we can all mediate. Well, mediate can <laughs> That's true. <laughs> can can uh, meditation help with post-traumatic stress disorder? Yes. Yeah. There's a study done using 181 male prisoners from the Oregon State Correctional Institution and the Oregon State Penitentiary. They were considered to have moderate to high-risk trauma symptoms. Half the group pra practiced transcendental meditation, 20 minutes twice daily. The other half of the group did not meditate. The study lasted four months. Those in the meditation group experienced a 47% reduction in trauma symptoms as compared to those in the control group. Now, what kind of symptoms were reduced? Anxiety, depression, and insomnia. Okay. So it was pretty remarkable. And they always say meditation can be good even for somebody without PTSD. It's Absolutely. just good sometimes to just relax. It's yes, happening. in these stressful days, <laughs> it's yes. a good thing to do. That's why a Zen moment is very good. Absolutely. Just, just peace and quiet. Bliss out. That's right. I do it at the end of the day, the work good. day. I just like to have my own space, right? Just like everybody else. <laughs> Very right. good. And we want to let you know what you can do. You can just send your questions to Dr. Miller uh, at the address on your screen, or better yet, just email your questions. It's simpler. To uh, Dr. Miller at KOBI5.com, and you can look for the answers to your questions right here next Tuesday night. Dr. Miller, always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you. much for yes. being here. Nice Thanks. to see you. NBC5 meteorologist Adam Colfax up next with your full weather forecast. But first, take a look at what's coming up.